Hi guys, welcome back to Munstuff TV. And this week I've been doing this. We'll come back to that in just a minute. <laughs> right, so I'm in a hide in Gibraltar Point Skegness. Uh, it's at the edge of the wash. Uh, it's pretty cool actually. Hang on, I'll show you a picture. That's the view. There's another hide. There's another hide. Over there. And then there's the one I'm in, obviously. Right, so, now for the shed. There's Ethan's shed. We have side window. Double doors. Got to sort decking out yet. Still needs decking. Turned into a mud pit down here as well. So, Squelch, squelch, squelch. There we go. And then we'll go inside. I know it's not perfect, but being cute at the moment, the selling radiator reflector foil, uh, three pounds fifty a roll, and I've just used uh, one and a one and a third rolls to deck it out so far. Um, I've purchased some of these, three of these packs. For twenty-one pounds, also at Bank here, and there's the little or Aldi solar security light thing, which is pretty cool. They're only about seven quid. Bought them last year. They're really good. There we go. Floor is down. There's four corners still need filling. All got roughly the same space left, but that's. All the board that I had left. The only scraps that happen to be left. That's the only wastage. That's the only real waste and then a lip that I cut off. So yeah. £21 well spent I think. Yeah. Silicon the windows in. They've all been siliconed. I've even gone mad and Here's the rest of the tube down, down that edge, all the way down, and all the way down that side, and then on the ceiling, um, that I put a bead all the way along there as well. Look, there you go, both sides. So the roof's effectively glued on as well as nailed on. Um, can't see daylight coming out of anywhere apart from where I've silicon down there, but yeah, it's all good. Right, we're getting there. Nice solid floor, which I'm going to re insulate again as soon as I've got something to go on the floor. I need to find a couple of bits of wood to fill these gaps. So, pallet wood to the rescue, I think. It's only in the corners. 
once that's done I'll uh, start lining the bugger so there we go managed to get some plastic sheet from a local hardware shop it's quite thick it's really good strong stuff um, that's a, a pound a square meter I grabbed 10 meters of that so I'm gonna have to get a bit more I think not much but a bit I've used the radiator backing stuff on the ceiling as much as I can on the left hand side and then whatever's left on the right hand side so I'm going to have a bit of patching up to do there so but that foil gave me an idea that's got polystyrene on the back so it's watertight that'll be my watertight layer I've put that on the wall and then um, Aldi, 65 pence, 20 metre roll, really, really crap thin foil, but it's to reflect heat. So, I've put the plastic on the wall first, using a stapler. And then I've done exactly the same with the tin foil, just stapled it to the wall. So that'll reflect the heat back in. And then, went up to the charity shop, purchased some sleeping bags. Two pounds each. So I'm now stapling those two the walls. That's my insulation. So I've got a waterproof barrier, reflection, and insulation. Sleeping bag on the wall. So so got that one and that one together. I think that's a double and that's a single but I've also got some toggles which I can use on a snake skin when they make the next snake skins so that's pretty cool not chuffed right so been a bit busy today got some wood and I've been panelling so we've got Got the ceiling done, got the left wall done, got the right wall done, bit of a gap there but it's going to have like a very thin strip going over on that one, that was the worst one, the rest are all pretty good. Now strips down the corners, done that apex, done that apex, still got to finish that bit there, that bit there, um, obviously on the back, that bit there, so doing those tomorrow. So, but yeah, as you can see, I put a strip on the roof there, down the centre. I'll finish it off there, and then I want to put corner pieces in, and then piece along there. Obviously, all the corners. So yeah, just to fill the gaps. Yeah. That's the one I'm not very happy with, but I'm going to bring that one over to the left, fill that gap. And then uh, get that one panelled in. Jobs are good, and like I've done with that one, so a small gap there. It doesn't matter. That's all good. So that's coming along. Going to do a few of the bits and bobs. I'll put that in next week. So anyway, uh, it's probably took up all your time. So I will say thank you for watching. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do. Don't forget to like. Uh, leave a comment, please do. You know, if there's anything you want to know about, just ask. Not a problem. Um, if there's anything you think the channel needs to improve, let me know. You know. So anyway, take care. Thanks again for watching. And um, press the little bell button, and that will give you the uh, notifications of all the next videos. So take care. Thanks, guys. Bye.